Hey guys, what's up? I uh, had a buddy pick up my Clip Studio paint brush set. Uh, so I texted him saying, hey, thanks for grabbing my brush set. And he was like, yeah, uh, I'm really excited about it. If only I knew how to install brushes in Clip Studio paint. And I was like, oh, I guess that's probably an essential part of using brushes that I should include in my YouTube tutorials. So here's a real quick way to install Clip Studio paint brushes. The first step is to pick which subtool you want to install that brush in. So like you'll have like the pens initially, right? So you get your G pens and things like that. You can on this right here in this top left of the subtool, go to import subtool and navigate in your uh, finder or whatnot to uh, where that, where all your brushes are, and then just grab one uh, and you can install it that way by double clicking it. The problem with this method is that you can only import one brush at a time, which is really frustrating. Uh, if you have, you know, got a big brush pack, you want to install all your brushes. So what I usually end up doing is going and uh, finding those here and grabbing a whole bunch of them. So what I do is I grab a couple of these and I kind of drag them and I'll command tab, go back to Clip Studio Paint and you can just drag them right here into the sub tool. One thing that I like to do also is keep these uh, pens sort of separate, right? So like here we got pen and marker and things like that. And so I will actually kind of grab these and move them up. And if, I, if you see right here, if you hold this and it come, this little red line comes up, it'll pop up over here and it'll kind of make a new subtool category. So that's what I like to do to sort of separate these pens out. For all of my pens here is I made some subcategories here. So I should probably actually start putting these in a couple different categories. Like I could probably have a dipple category and a uh, effect line category. It's sort of like I have these hatches that I like so I don't have them messing up my regular brush pens or you know this real thick guy you know and I have my my pencils separated by uh, the pencils that I have versus the pencils that come with clip initially those are really it's a really nice way to keep things kind of clean and simple and then you can grab these and separate them and put them on your toolbar so my pens are separate from the classic pens which are separate from the pencils it's helpful for me if I want to collapse some of these panels and really have a wide open view. That's that's how you do this on a, a Mac or a PC. I'm gonna whip out my iPad here and we'll uh, show you how to do it on this. So the process on the iPad is it's pretty similar but sort of weird. Um, basically you kind of grab whichever tool you want and then uh, you kind of grab here at the bottom to sort of halfway pull up the menu bar and uh, go to like a Google Drive or uh, you know a, a Dropbox or one of those and you kind of uh, pull this halfway up and then you grab the, uh, the the drive and you'll slide it over to the side and you can select them with the these like three arrows and just say open in and select copy to Clip Studio and it'll add it to uh, this the palette that you have open Unfortunately, it looks like in Google Drive, you can only uh, move one at a time over. That might be different for Dropbox. I don't use Dropbox a ton, but you might be able to select a bunch and drag them into uh, your subtool palette, which would be very handy. There's also a way in Clip Studio to sync all of your settings from a desktop to the iPad. So um, maybe I'll do a video on that at some point, but that's a whole different process. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. Quick and to the point. Quick videos. I do a lot of longer videos. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, all that kind of fun stuff. Subscribe. Uh, I've got a bunch of Clip Studio Paint tutorials, a lot of like how to make comics tutorials, a lot of how to be good at Comic Cons that I'll be doing on this channel. So I'm pretty excited about all of that. So stick around, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.